Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with an exponential expression or exponential expressions. There's two of them, right? We have 20 to the power 1 minus 1 over x equals 5 and we're supposed to evaluate 2 to the power x. Okay, when you look at a problem like this, you know, this probably looks complicated on the surface, right? But it's actually fairly easy if you know the rules. And what are those rules? We're going to talk about them, especially uh, using the first method. I'll be presenting two methods and both methods use a lot of nice properties. So um, I, I hope it'll be a good review with uh, logarithms and exponentials. Great, let's get to work. So for, for my first method, I want to go ahead and natural log both sides. So if you natural log 20 to the power of 1 minus 1 over x and 5, we're going to get this equation. And again, keep in mind that we're trying to solve for 2 to the power x, so that should be our goal. But once you ln both sides, this is going to move to the front, which is nice. 1 minus 1 over x is des desirable, actually, times ln 2, 20, I mean, equals ln 5. And one thing that I notice is that from here you can isolate x, sort of. Don't make a common denominator because that's not good practice. In this case, you want to solve for x, so leave the x alone, or leave the 1 over x alone, okay? So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to distribute, because 1 is a constant, multiply by ln 20, is going to be nice, and 1 over x multiplied by ln 20, we can write it as ln 20 divided by x. You could also write it as a multiplication problem, same idea. Now, notice that we only have x in one of the terms, so we can kind of try to isolate it and bring the constants together ln 20 and ln 5 are constants, and they go really well together. You know why? Because we have a property, a quotient property with logarithms. Why do I call it a quotient? Because we have the difference of two logs that turns into the log of a quotient. Remember the property? Log, and I'm going to write it as log, but log can mean any base, so let's use b here. If you have log b of xy, that can be written as log x plus log y with base b, or if you have a quotient, that's the property we need here, then we can write it as a difference of two logs, which is nice property, but we have to use it backwards because we have a difference, right? So now we can go ahead and write this as ln 20 over 5 equals ln 20 all over x. Awesome. 20 over 5 is 4, so that's going to be ln 4 equals ln 20 over x. And this is not the end of it because we were trying to solve for x, remember? So kind of switch these around. A lot of times when people are trying to solve these equations, they're going to multiply or cross multiply, multiply both sides by x and then divide by ln4. You don't really need to do that. All you can do is because these two are always multiplied, just switch them around. And from here, you're going to get x equals ln20 divided by ln4. You see how quick that is? It'll save you, save you some time. Great. So that's x logarithmically, numerically, that is the value, but guess what? We're not supposed to find x, we're supposed to find 2 to the power x. So what am I going to do? I'll do 2 to the power that. Let's do it. 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power ln 20 over ln, oops, I can't write ln, ln 4. Okay. Now, again, numerically, this might look, some, this might look somewhat complicated, but we can simplify it. First of all, let me tell you something. If you have something like e to the power ln, let's say 5, this is 5, okay? But what if you have e to the power 1 over ln 5? That's nothing. It's not 1 over 5. Be careful. Don't be misled by this. Don't invent formulas. If you have enough formulas in math, so don't try to invent a new one, okay? <laughs> Unless you find something legitimate. Anyways, uh, this doesn't simplify so too bad. But if I had 5 to the power 1 over ln 5, guess what? This would simplify. You know why? Just because we have a 5 here and a 5 here. So that's how it works. Let me show you how that works. Now we're going to go ahead and manipulate this a little bit, okay? So first step, we're going to write the ln4 as ln2 squared, which will turn into 2 ln2. Again, from the power property. Remember, we can move it. And then the next step is crucial. Just remember what I told you about 5 to the power 1 over ln5. Or in general, x to the power 1 over ln x. I made quite a few videos about this. This is a concept that you can actually uh, utilize or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's get to work. So I'm going to write this as follows. 
using this strategy here. Write this as 2 to the power 1 over ln 2 and then raise it to everything else. And that will be ln 20 divided by 2. Awesome. That divide, division by 2 is going to give us something nice at the end. But first, we have to go through this. What is that equal to? Do you know? Well, to understand what that equals, we can switch to. Remember, I told you an important uh, identity. e to the ln 5 is 5. Or in general, e to the ln x is equal to x. This is going to be super helpful. So now, how do you use that? Replace 2 with e to the power ln 2. And you'll see the benefit, okay? Of course, don't forget all the powers that are outside. We kind of have like a multiple layers here, right? Now, notice that ln 2 cancels out, leaving us with an e. Nice. Thanks to Euler, we have something called Euler's number. Beautiful. Now, we have more stuff that's coming up. Look at that. e to the power ln something. Uh-oh, I know that. So now I can write it as e to the power ln 20 to the power 1 half. You see, I told you 1 half is going to come in handy. But first, we have to simplify e to the power ln 20, which is just 20. You see how helpful that identity is? And now we get 20 to the power 1 half from... 2 to the power x. Remember, this is all 2 to the power x. I, I forgot to write it, but at the beginning I wrote it, and everything else is obviously the same thing. Now, what is 20 to the power 1 half? It's the square root of 20. As you should know, this is 2 root 5, because if you split it up into 4 and 5, you're going to get 2 root 5 as the final answer, which is kind of interesting. Now, we started off with 20, and then we get to 2 root 5. That kind of makes sense, because notice that the original expression was equal to 5. So there you go. That's where your 5 comes from. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I think second method, you're going to love it, but I could be biased. Please let me know what you think uh, or which method you think is better or which one you like better. It doesn't have to be better. You can say, hey, you know what? I like the second method and please explain. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. For my second method, I'm going to start with the original equation again. But this time, don't focus on 2 to the x. Kind of focus on it, but here's what I'm going to do. The exponents are subtracted, so that tells me, hey, I can turn this into a division problem. And as you've seen before, it was helpful uh, to separate the uh, 1 over x, right? So, what does that mean? It means that 20 is divided by some number, mysterious number, and the answer is 5. So, you're thinking, okay, think hard. 20 divided by what is 5? The answer is 4, obviously, right? So, this is equal to 4. Easy, right? So, whenever you get a problem like this, don't cross multiply, please. Just think about this. And your teacher, I'm hoping, that will accept it. 20 divided by what number equals 5? If you can answer that question, you got t, right? So, now we got 20 to the power 1 over x equals 4. At this point, we can do a super hocus pocus mathematical, mathematical operation. Raise both sides to the power x. x is going to cancel out. And mysteriously, you're going to find 4 to the power x equals 20. Wait a minute. I do need 2 to the power x. No worries. Square root both sides and you'll get it. So, 2 to the power x because you just square the base. I mean, square root the base. And that's going to give you 2 root 5 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.